Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we are tackling closet organization, which is very exciting because this is probably one of the most requested areas I get from you guys to organize. And it's been over four years since I have organized my closet. I decided I wanted to redo it from scratch. And I have to say, I'm very impressed with myself because I think it looks gorgeous in there. And every element that I'm showing you, except for two things, costs under $15. So a lot of these are kind of container store dupes that I was able to find for a lot less. I also have an Amazon $300 gift card giveaway. I'm choosing the winner for that in just a few days. So to be entered for that, just make sure you are subscribed to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and also subscribe to my second channel. I will have the information down in the description box. And with all of that said, let's go ahead and get started. The first step with all of my organization projects is to completely empty out and clean out the space. While you're in the process of cleaning out your space is a good time to declutter your clothing. And for me, this was pretty easy to do because I am eight months pregnant, so I have a very limited amount of my wardrobe that currently still fits. Everything else I have, I put into storage in the garage. So once you have your cleaned out, decluttered space, this is where the fun starts. For this closet, I actually decided to put some decorative elements in here first. I just wanted to make sure they were gonna look good, they were gonna fit. So the first thing I added was a rug, which fun fact, this is not actually a rug. This is one of Carter's old play mats that he's no longer using that is designed to look like a rug and is actually made out of memory foam. So it's nice and soft and cushy on my feet, which I absolutely love. The next thing I decided to do was upgrade the lighting because it was really dull, yellow, bad lighting in this room. So I found this light fixture. I also have the same one in my laundry room and it has the pretty crystals. It's a lot brighter. And just adding this really takes the space up a notch. And then last little decorative element I put in here was a pretty picture. And I think it's so beautiful. It's got the sparkle. So it goes with kind of the glam look. And look, is it necessary to have artwork in your closet? No. But does it make this space more fun? Yes, it does. So now let's get into the actual organizing. Now you've heard me talk about declaring sock bankruptcy. Today we're going to talk about hanger bankruptcy. Make your closet look so much nicer and more streamlined. Now is the time to kind of start from scratch. Get some nicer hangers. They do not have to be expensive. The prices have come down for these felt hangers. You can buy them in bulk for a really good price. So the first things I just very simply added into the closet were my long maxi maternity dresses and then my short maternity dresses. So that's what I put in here first. Now in addition to uniform hangers, something else that I added in here a few months ago that I just absolutely love is a hanger hanger. Yes, you heard me right, a hanger hanger. So instead of having all of your extra hangers either pile on the floor or even hanging up in your closet, taking up extra space, this is the little stand that I keep in the back here and I just have my hangers all nice and stacked up. That's not all when it comes to hangers, okay? So this is actually a space saving hanger that I've been using for years and it's kind of funny to me because this went viral on TikTok and I'm like guys where have you been I've been using this for years so in case you have not seen one of these collapsible hangers I have all of my t-shirts that still currently fit me not a large variety you hang them all up on this hanger and then you just drop one side and it takes up a fraction of the space literally probably one fifth of the space in your closet. And instead of using the horizontal space on your closet rod, you're more effectively using the vertical space. And you can still very easily see everything that you have. So I just love these. I think they're so cool. So this is what I'm using in my closet to hang and organize all of my casual t-shirts. Now, same concept, but slightly different design is this hanger, which is actually designed to be a bra hanger but I decided to use it for my pregnancy slash nursing tops. I live in these, but this one has the hooks already built into it and it's already has that vertical orientation. So you just have to hook on the straps and they hang really nicely and they take up very limited space and I can see all of the color selection that I have. And as I mentioned, this is designed to be a bra hanger. So it also would work for that if you have a lot of extra bras. And yet another type of collapsible hanger, this is kind of an upgraded version, a little bit nicer version. So this is what this one looks like. And it's that same concept where you first hang everything like this horizontally and then you drop one side so they all hang vertically. These are my nicer tops 
that still fit me. This is kind of just a higher end version of that, which I have to say I do like a bit better because this one comes with the hangers. They have this grippy foam on them, so whatever you're putting on here is not going to slip, and it's just convenient to have the hangers already with it. So now for pants, or in my case, leggings, because if you know me, you know that I don't really wear jeans or other types of pants very often, especially being pregnant. Like I'm allergic to jeans right now. So I have learned I like to have those hanging as well. In general, I like to have things hanging as much as possible because I'm better able to see what I have and I'm more likely to wear it if I can see it. So I have two different pants hangers that I've been enjoying, but one is this snake type hanger that you can just fold your pants or leggings over. This works really well and you can stack five to 10 pairs of leggings on here. You can see I double stack it so I can actually fit 10 pairs of leggings on here. And then I also got a new kind of upgraded version that I saw and wanted to try out which has these opposable rods. So it makes it a little bit easier to hang the legging or pant and then just clip it back on here. So right now this is where I have all of my maternity leggings that still currently fit because now I'm even growing out of those. Next up is probably what I'm the most excited about in this entire closet because I needed some kind of a drawer situation. I can't hang up everything that I have. This is where a lot of people turn to those custom built-in drawers. I've done bin systems in the past. I was gonna get a full-size dresser and put that in there, but guess what? All of those options were either too expensive or I just don't have time for that. So I found these drawers on Amazon and is probably one of my best finds to date. These sets of four drawers are only around $50 each. They're easy to assemble, they're well-made, they have the nice birch wood top, and I just love them. It's exactly what I needed. I put two next to each other side by side here in the closet. So in this top left drawer, I wanted to put my socks and underwear, and so I got these little drawer subdividers. It comes in a pack of four different shape and size dividers for about $15, which is a great deal. The one I have in there is for underwear, so I just roll up my underwear, put it each in a little slot. In the top drawer next to that, I just stacked my bras in this drawer neatly. I had wanted to use this bra divider that came in the set, but this did not fit in those drawers. You can tell I like my comfort nude bras. So in the remaining drawers underneath those, I just decided to fold and stack the different categories of clothing. I didn't go with the KonMari method of the vertical stacking because I just didn't have enough stuff that that would work for. If you're vertically stacking everything, the drawer has to be completely full and I just don't even have that much clothing right now. So I have all of my sleep dresses and yes, only sleep dresses because that is the only thing I like to sleep in. I have my maternity shorts, skirts, some kimonos, some sweaters and jackets there on the bottom. And then for extra jackets and bulkier sweaters, I do have a lot of extra of those. So I put them in bins on the top part of the closet. Now for some accessories, I found some fun organizers that work so well for these. First up are purses. There is this purse hanger that has these little cubbies where you can put your purses in. So you can fit six purses just in this very slim vertical space. I really, really love this. It saves so much space in my closet and I really only have and use six purses anyway. So this fits everything perfectly. For shoes, there were two different options that I was deciding between. The first is just this basic shoe rack, really affordable. And guess what? It does the job. The other option that I picked up to try is one of these vertical hanging shoe shelves. And this one can hold 20 pairs of shoes. So this fits even more pairs of shoes. And again, really utilizes the vertical space in your closet. So I still haven't decided which one I wanna go with. Maybe you guys can let me know what you think. Do you think that the shoe rack goes better in here or the shoe cubbies? Another thing I wanna point out that I have in my closet are my laundry baskets. I've had all different types of laundry baskets. I've had ones on wheels. I've had really nice ones. I've had so many. And I always come back to these really affordable laundry baskets. I have like 10 of them. What I love about these is that they fold down. They're collapsible. So as I'm actually doing the laundry, they don't take up space in the laundry room. Easy to carry them up and down the stairs. They're lightweight. So I always recommend having two laundry baskets in your closet. One for your dirty clothes, of course, and the other one for clothes that you want to donate. Because as you're in your closet trying things on, and that's the perfect time, for you to put things aside to donate. For the above storage, as I showed you, I just have these bins where I have some excess bulkier items, 
like sweaters, jackets, things like that. Most of my stuff is actually in storage in the garage. Another option of dividers that I found for that space that didn't end up working in my closet, so I'm gonna actually give these away, but they are very cool, so I wanted to show you. They are these acrylic dividers. So either on the top shelf of your closet or any shelf of your closet, they hook on like this, and you can create little cubbies where you can fold and sort and stack different types of clothing items, and they look really nice. One other thing I forgot to mention are these S-hooks that I use to hang my robes on, which is very important for me because I love my robes. So this is a really easy solution for that. And for jewelry, I have these two really cute jewelry racks. I've actually had these for a little while. I've shown them in another video, but I put them on top of these little dressers. I think they look really nice. And I like having my jewelry here because as I'm getting undressed, putting on my pajamas, that's when I'm taking my jewelry off. So it's very convenient. So last but not least is kind of a gimmicky looking product that I just wanted to test out. I am not sure if this is gonna work or not. It is this shirt file folder divider. It just looked too interesting to not at least try it. So the idea here is that you can fold your shirts and then stack them on top of each other in this file folder type of format. And then you can kind of just flip through them as if you're flipping through files in a binder. The reviews on this were very mixed. People either gave it five stars or one star. So I'm gonna try this out. Okay, so I tried this out. It took a little while to get everything folded perfectly. Here are my thoughts. First is that because it does take a while to get everything folded perfectly. It might be too time consuming for most people. It's not made with a great material. This is extremely thin, flimsy plastic. If it was made with a better material, maybe it would be better. And also the shirts are pretty thick, so the stack is not staying together as well as I would like. So even though it's a really cool concept, I think the execution could be better, so I would not say that I recommend. Okay, so for this video, I have extras of a lot of things that I'm just going to give away to some of you guys watching, so I will have the details of that giveaway, how to enter down in the description box, as well as my giveaway for the $300 Amazon gift card. I feel like I came, I conquered, I made my closet look so much better on a crazy budget. I am so happy with how it looks. I feel refreshed. I feel like it's so much easier to get dressed now that everything is not only organized, but decluttered. So I hope you guys got some new cool ideas from this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thank you as always so much for watching, and I will see you soon with a new video.